I wanted to frame this canvas and I was quoted between $400 to $800 from different stores to frame this canvas and also some of the reputative stores they straight away declined to frame this because it was too big and most of my canvases were between 4 to 6 feet in length so I decided to do it myself and I spent about $20 to frame this and this is a basic framing nothing fancy no designer frames and if you want to do that it will cost you a little more but not the amount in hundreds of dollars this framing is going to work whether you have uh, already painted canvas that you want to frame or you have a brand new canvas that you are going to paint it later first time it will be little complicated and once you do it it will be a lot easier to do it next time when you frame a canvas finally you are acquiring a skill and it will be asset to you and once you get this skill it's not gonna go away so let's get started so I went to the home improvement store and then got this 4x4 plywood uh, which is quarter of an inch thickness and I cut this into two and a half inch wide strips so the entire plywood cost me about $15 and I got about 18 two and a half inch strips I also got this six feet by half an inch thick wooden frame for the side of the frame. These wooden slats uh, cost me two dollars each. So you will need a ruler for measurement. I have one inch nail pen. You'll also need a hammer. I also have a bevel cutter which cost me about ten dollars to cut the wooden strip to 45 degree angles which will fit into the corners. So let's get started. So on the back of the canvas, I have to attach these wooden thin strips which is 2.5 inch width. So on the right side I am adding 1.25 inches and on the down I am adding 1.25 inches. And I nailed it here. I measured my canvas and added 1.25 inches in both sides and I also marked it. Now let's cut this wooden strip. So the strip is now cut, I'll fit in here and now we have to nail it. Let's do the other end, trying to level it nicely. So the strip is now nicely attached to the back of the canvas and I put about four to five nails each side of the strips. So let's turn it over and see. So as you can see, the wooden strip is now nicely attached to the canvas. Now I'll attach the wooden frame so that it looks nicer and we have the complete frame. So this is the wooden frame. We have to make a bevel cut to this after measuring. So here is how to measure and cut this. I have measured this end to that end. So at this corner make a mark at the end. So I did the measurement from end of this and then I subtracted the width of this frame which is half an inch from towards the inside of the frame and then I made a diagonal line. The way we'll be cutting this bevel and it will be a inward to the frame and I'll do it from all the sides and then we'll be ready. And also don't forget to mark your frames so that you can attach it neatly to the frame. So I've already marked as down, down. You can also mark left, right, up and down. So don't forget to mark down your frames. Also you will need a saw, a file and a clamp. I've already set up my bevel cutter. So I already clamped the wood. We can cut it in 45 degree angle. And I've already lined up this with a clamp I've attached so that it does not move while I'm cutting with the saw, so let's cut this one. So as you can see it is nicely cut in 45 degree angle. Now I'm going to file it, make it a little bit smoother and I'm going to cut all of the wood. Now I have all the four woods ready to be attached to the frame. I have a drop cloth here and 
what we are going to do is we'll turn this canvas over to this drop cloth and then we nail these woods to the side so this is just to protect the canvas and not to damage it this wooden frame can be painted based on your liking and then can be attached to the frame but for my case i am going to attach it and then i'll paint it i place the canvas on the drop cloth so now we can start attaching the frames align the lumber frame nicely with the wooden strip and then we are going to nail it So these nails didn't go properly so in case you have a misplaced nail you can always remove it with this uh, sharp spring pliers like this so it will easily come out and then you can replace the with another nails I also uploaded a separate video on this how to remove small nails from the frame so you can check that out so similar way I'm going to attach this side align this corner and then nail it down so now it is framed let me give you a closer look as you can see here these corners are fitted properly as you can see so this corner has a little bit of more space the solution is either you can use this wood filler to fill this gap and once it is dry with a knife you can draw a diagonal line so it looks nicer or you can nail this place so as you can see if you squeeze this too it nicely snugly fits together and you can nail it here so this is the shorter one but if you are a little bit longer which does not fit properly then with a file you can file it down make it little shorter smoother and then it will snugly fit here so in my case i'm going to nail these corners so now all four corners are snugly fit there are no gaps i just nailed all the sides here how it looks so there is a thin gap here so i'm going to use the wood filler to fill these gaps so the gap is now closed so i'm going to do this from all the corners so now the framing basic framing is now done only thing left is to paint the frame now since my canvas is blank i decided to just use the framing first and then I'm going to paint it but it's up to you to decide whether to paint the frames before attaching to the canvas or after I have the wood color which is chocolate black and I'm going to use that to paint it but before we paint we have to cover this side of the canvas with the painters tape or any tapes that is removable from the canvas so I'm going to cover this then I will paint it taping is done from all the sides so I'm now ready to paint the frame and this is a chocolate color which looks almost like black. I have to give it about two coatings. Frame is now painted, I am doing a finishing touch. I'll leave it for about 24 hours to dry and then we will be done. The frame is now dry and I also use this polyurethane coating to coat this paint now everything is dry and we are ready to go now i'll remove the tape so entire framing is now complete it looks nice you can see the corners are perfect this is the another frame that i painted in white and i wanted to show you quickly this one as well this 4 by 5 feet frame is already attached with those uh, woods flat here are the corners this looks really nice now I will paint this one in white color painting is finished and I'll let it dry this is the white color that I did the reason being painting this frame in white is that the the, the painting that I'm going to do on this canvas will look good on the white frame and as well as depending on the color of the wall the white framing will enhance this canvas so i have a complete freedom on customizing and choosing the color of the frame that i want to do 
this oil painting is still in progress it's not yet finished but just wanted to show you how it looks on the wall the entire cost is the actual cost of the material to frame this is $15 and I have other tools that I had to buy like shaw brushes, the bevel cutter so let's take a residual cost of $5 so in total I have spent about $20 to frame this so here are some final frames that I have done on the canvases some of the paintings are completed some of them are in progress but here are the final framing uh, of the canvas all right everyone if i was able to help you at all please let me know by giving this video a like comment and subscribe to my channel all that would be very much appreciated thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video